One of the most common tasks in game development is casting an array and checking what it hits. This enables complex behavior, AI, calculations, etc. to take place. This tutorial will explain how to do this in 2D. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a array cast 2D node to my scene. What this is, is Godot's inbuilt array cast feature. So instead of hard coding it or doing more complex code, to start you off, you have a Raycast 2D node. And you can click on that and you can see all these different properties. Let's go through them. Obviously, first, if it's enabled, that'll determine whether the Raycast is active and turning on or off. So if you want to disable it and turn it on later with code, you can do that. Exclude parent is quite an important one. That makes sure that the parent is not hit with the Raycast. So right now, the Raycast would go from the center, hit the parent on the way out. So we've turned that on to exclude the parent. Target position is the raycast itself. So you can see that changes when we move it. Collision mask. This is the layer which the raycast will detect objects. Similar to say we have a uh, an enemy. We'll check its collision. So we go to collision and we can see the collision layer it's on is one and two. But here our raycast is hitting layer one. We can also do two as well, just any other objects on two. Another cool setting will be the collide with. We can check whether it's going to be areas or bodies that this collides with. So for example, uh, the bullet is a area 2D. So this is an area. Otherwise we have a body like a character 2D for the enemy. So we can do areas and bodies. So say it's just a, a space we want to check if we're in a certain volume, we can do that. Otherwise, if we're detecting for enemies, we're going to do bodies. So right now I'm going to apply bodies. For my scene, what I've done is I've placed a Raycast 2D node attaching to my collision shape. If we looked in my script, what I'm doing is I am rotating the collision shape every tick. We look at the mass position. So all the children of the collision shape will also rotate with it. So that includes the polygon 2D, uh, the position where I'm spawning my bullets and now our new raycast will also rotate with that. So when my collision shape rotates, you can see that all its children will also rotate. Okay, let's take a peek at the code and see how we can implement this raycast. So first we're gonna make this a unique name so we can access it in the code. Next, go to the script. We've got some functions already set up, movement and shooting. We'll ignore these. What I'm gonna do is put my raycast code here. So we can check if our raycast 2D is colliding. We, we don't wanna check this every time it's not colliding. So I only check this when it is colliding. We can then get the raycast 2D dot. We can get a few things here. So some really cool things that we can get is say get collision point. What this does, this returns the point at which the raycast first hits something. So for example, this will be a global position. So if we look here as, as an example, say this is our player and this is our enemy. What we're going to do is raycast to the enemy. And what this function would do, this get collision point, this would return this point here that we collide with that enemy. So that's really useful. So we can say we can store that in a variable uh, location equals this collision point. Another thing we can do, we can get the normal of our collision. So this is actually really useful. So we can use this for a bunch of calculations later in developing other mechanics, but I'll quickly explain what this function does. So when this raycast collides with an object, it will detect the normal, which is, say I cast this ray and I hit this surface, what it will return will be the normal direction, so the direction of that surface. So it'll return down. If I raycast to over this side, it will also return this direction. So here we can see, say we're trying to grapple onto a ledge or we're trying to uh, snap on, so like doing a building system and we're snapping on different components. This can be useful to implement a bunch of mechanics later on. Last but not least, let's just go over the objects that we can get. So say raycast get lighter. 
This returns an object of the first thing this raycast intersects with. Okay, so let's see if this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the object, the location, and the normal. So now, if I go here, make sure that's all set up. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play. So as we know in here, we have a raycast coming out of the front of our character, even though we can't see it in game. We, can, we remember that so that we set it up in our scene. Now when I hover over a enemy, every tick it will produce this debug message down the bottom here. Now we can see it's returned the object, which is what we called in our code. Also the vector 2 for the location of what, what we just hit. And also the normal of the, the normal of the surface that we raycast and collided with. So for example, uh, this here, this is a direction. So we know this because negative one is left, positive one is right. That's for the left and right direction, the X direction. This is our Y. So it was uh, neutral there because it wasn't up or down. Uh, one is down and negative one is up. So say, for example, if I looked up at this enemy above us, what will happen is we'll get a message here and we can see whoop, that it is zero and one for not left or right, but it is down. All right, so that's how you use a raycast in a Godot. Obviously, these objects we can use here for different mechanics. So say if I raycast and we get the location and we can check the location between two uh, objects. So say, for example, so here's a very quick example of using this information from the raycast in some code. So here we can see we've got our location. So we're going to get a uh, check our global position and see if the distance to that location is less than 50 and also that we have an object loaded and we're going to load this as a node 2d so we can have some node 2d functions such as q3 so if the object is not null and also our global position is less than 50 away from location we're going to get the object and delete it but we can also do other stuff like uh, apply damage or um, knock back like there's lots of things we could do here like we could call the raycast and enable the raycast only when we're doing a, a melee attack animation for example but we can see here test this code out now so i'm not facing it but if i turn around i can see that it does delete enemies when we get close to them Okay, thanks for watching guys. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to implement Raycast into your next project and see how to use them for yourself and use their data to make cool mechanics. All right, thanks for watching. If this was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And stay tuned for some new tutorials coming your way. Thanks, bye.